Hey, hello, welcome by Agabi. You want to start working behind the windows? Well, before you can start, you need several things. First off, you will need an address. You will need to find a house and register with the government to get an address. After this, you will need to go to the Chamber of Commerce to register your own company. After that, you can come back to do an intake by us. And you're always welcome. Well, welcome back. I see you brought your paperwork this time. I see first your registration of your address, which you need to open your own company at the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, this you need to pay the taxes for the government. Uh, I hear you speak excellent English, which is also a must to work here in the red light district. Um, we have two different shifts. You can work in the daytime, which is from 10 in the morning till 8, or in the nighttime, which is from 8 till 5 in the morning. Uh, the most busy days are Friday and Saturday, and a lot of people will be walking around around this time. They will give positive and negative reactions. So, are you up for it? Well, let's start the intake then. I'm glad to hear that you're not being forced and that you are an independent woman. These are the two most important things for the government. Apart from the government, there are also health inspections. It's very important that you work in a clean environment and that you take care of yourself by doing STD tests. Uh, finally, I have our house rules for you, which you will need starting to work. Uh, you can start working at 41.5 tonight. Good luck. Well, welcome inside the room. In this room you will have a few things you will need for tonight. You will have your bed paper, which is very important. For every customer you will need a new underground. You will have your cleaning spray sprays. Uh, yeah, you will need it to clean your room. Uh, behind you you will have paper and alcohol and soap to clean your hands. In the back you will have a, a bidet and uh, yeah, a shower and a toilet if you want. Well, it's everything you will need. Good luck for tonight. Okay. This is going to be laughing and shaking my ass because it gives me more chances to get more money today. Hi darling, come on in. If it's too warm today, I'll be home early. If it's raining, I'll stay. Hey guy, would you like to warm your hands up with my balls? <laughs> looking at the motorsteg because I notice the prostitutes there are standing with not such nice faces. When the client comes, I look first at the shoes so I can decide the price and then I go on the bridge, I start flirting and then sometimes I have three people looking at me and I'm like, which one has the better shoes? <laughs> shoes tell a lot of men, they have money but then are the shoes clean or not? Hi darling, I do women too. You know, the price depends on the client. I have Dutch clients, so I do fucking and sucking for 50. And they stay with me 20 minutes. I tell all the young girls, don't have a boyfriend. Maybe you have friends with benefits, but don't get, let people get too close. Sometimes you, st you stop being a prostitute and you start being an attraction because everybody's taking pictures. You need to create that switch before in your head and then to take it off. Because the man comes, they come to use you, they come to, to feel your body. The first time I was like, okay, it was easy. Two minutes and then the second client came in. It was like five minutes. I said, oh, that's, that's very easy money. It's a free world, and because it's free, everybody allows themselves to do what they want. Because most tourists come here and say, Oh, it's so free, I can do, I can do drugs, I can do sex, I can do this. I said, yes, you can. We're in the right place. But that's not how life works all the time. Maybe the weekend sometimes. 